Singapore's first Prime Minister, Lee Kuan Yew, once said, if you deprive yourself of outsourcing and your competitors do not, you're putting yourself out of business. Now, in digital first countries like Singapore, outsourcing is almost a necessity. And the truth is, if you don't adapt this new digital age, you'll fall. So keep watching this video where I take you through what you should do when you outsource as well as what not to do. If you want more insider tips about how to grow your company with outsourcing, remember to click the subscribe button to be notified about our next video. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Lynn Podetti, founder of Outsourcing Angel, an offshore recruitment agency with a virtual team of over 70 around the world. I help companies grow faster and more profitably with their own virtual team. So let's get straight to the video. So first up, what is outsourcing? By definition, it means the business practice of delegating tasks to an external party. These tasks are usually necessary to run the business, but are not vital to growth and development. In today's world though, the term outsourcing does not necessarily mean delegating to an external party. It generally just used to refer to delegating tasks to someone else. Now someone may be someone internally, not just external parties. So in order to grow your business faster and more profitably, you need to outsource the lower value tasks so that your time or the time of your local team and resources are better spent on your core business, such as business development and strategic planning to effectively build your business. I'm going to share with you the four ways you can outsource. They are, one, outsourcing to local virtual employees. Two, outsourcing to a third party company. Three, you can outsource to freelancers. And finally, four, you can outsource to offshore virtual employees. Now, each outsourcing method comes with its own benefits and there are definitely things you should and shouldn't do for each. So let's start from the top. Now, outsourcing to local virtual employees. This method of outsourcing is suited to companies that needs to delegate tasks that require specific skill sets that an offshore employee may not be able to do, such as understanding of the local market. Local virtual employees work in the same time zone and if it really comes down to it, they can physically be there in person for you too. However, this can be the most expensive outsourcing option. So what you shouldn't do when outsourcing to local virtual employees is expecting top-notch talent for minimum wages. The rates for a good local virtual employee can be expensive. So if the price is a factor for you, maybe you can explore a different outsourcing avenue. Now number two, outsourcing to a third party company. Partnering with a third party company can be beneficial, particularly if they specialize in a niche area. Example, you may wanna get your marketing done, so you go to a marketing company, or you wanna get your accounts done and you go to a bookkeeping company. You can work with them on specific areas of your business. An added benefit is that you only need to hire them based on your need and you can save on hiring an additional headcount. Unfortunately though, with a third party company, you don't have full control and might be limited by their internal processes. It can also become costly working with a third party company. Three, outsourcing to local freelancers. When you outsource to a freelancer, you save on providing additional overhead costs, such as rent, utilities, or insurance, and you only hire when there is a need, no matter how short the project is. But what you shouldn't expect when working with freelancers is that you are their one and only client. They may be working for different employers, and so might not be as dedicated and focused on your company. And it takes a lot of your time to find and train a freelancer that will get the job done on time. Another thing to avoid when working with freelancers is outsourcing tasks that have a very tight deadline. Your freelancer can easily turn around and tell you they have more important things to do or you could put your trust in a freelancer only for them to suddenly not be available. So you've put all your eggs in one basket and there's nobody there to help you complete your project. So have you tried outsourcing directly to a freelancer before? Curious to know, so let us know how you did and what the experience was in the comments below. Let me continue to the final fourth option, which is outsourcing to offshore virtual employees. Offshore virtual employees from places like the Philippines can be just like your local staff. They are skilled and dedicated employees and can work part-time or full-time for your company with the benefit of no operational costs and more affordable salary expectations. When you're looking for offshore virtual employees, you can start the process yourself on websites like Upwork or Fiverr. 
However, finding talented people among such large databases can be challenging and it requires skills and experience to know if someone is right for you. What you shouldn't do when using this method of outsourcing is doing it in a rush as well. If you're planning to outsource directly to a virtual employee, the recruitment time and reference check should just be the same process as in-person employee. You must look through their previous work, portfolios, and interview multiple people until you find the right one that can be trusted. 10 years ago, when I first started dabbling in outsourcing, I wasted so much time and money outsourcing to the wrong people. Now I've taken all of my skills and experiences and started my company, Outsourcing Angel, to help companies hire only the best virtual employees. Not only are we experienced in finding skilled and reliable staff, our virtual employees are loyal. In fact, many of our virtual employees have been with me since the start of the business and together we've grown and shared company bonuses, trips and other perks that other outsourcing providers may not. So don't get the word outsourcing scare you. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're about to give your work to someone that you don't know or someone external. Option four, which is hiring offshore virtual employee, is one of the smartest decisions you can do for your company to increase your profit this year. Now, if you would like to explore this option, I recommend booking in a free consultation with us by simply follow the link in the comments below. We will be happy to help you figure out a long-term strategy to scale your business profitably with a dedicated virtual employee that you simply won't be able to live without. So to book a free consultation, just check out the link below. Before I go, I would like you to take a moment and imagine if you could free up 20 hours a week by outsourcing to a virtual employee, what would you spend that 20 hours doing instead? Let me know your answer or topic recommendations for our next videos in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, please share with your friends or please subscribe to be notified about our next video. See you again next week.